All right, so welcome back and <clears throat> get ready for uh, part two here, everybody, where we're going to go ahead and begin the process of tying our flower together. Um, now, I can't give you a, a definite time of when we're actually going to go ahead and rig the face here. Um, the main the main part here is um, I really want to go ahead and tie this rig together completely, and then once we go ahead and do that, then we'll start rigging our face. So... Um, let's go ahead and get started here um, as you can see we're just gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off in the last lesson um, so let's just go ahead and start by turning our pod off and we'll go ahead and start with our inner and outer stems okay now the key here is we want to have the ability I think to go ahead and actually make this sort of modular where um, these inner and outer stems should be sort of independent from the actual character rig but still attached to the rig just so that it's going to move with it um, and the idea behind that is whenever a flower blooms if you actually go ahead and take a look at a flower you'd want to have the ability to go ahead and say pose these out um, in a way that it's actually going to be if I can just go ahead and um, manipulate these real quick it should be something like this um, no matter how your animation is moving or how your your character is moving here but you would also want the ability to go ahead and um, animate these up or down or whatever and so I think it's better if we just go ahead and and make these modular just so that it's going to be attached to the rig and then you would just simply pose those um, whenever you're you're doing your basic character animation and then you know if you want to adjust more animation in terms of how your character is moving just a little bit more then you can go ahead and animate those and so what we want to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and um, just attach these to, um, to the rig independently here and the easy way to go ahead and do that well why well, say easy but it's still a little bit complex so let's just go ahead and create some control curves for this I'm gonna go ahead and open up my outliner here and I'm just moving this over on my other screen and we'll just go ahead and use the wizard control script that we've been using and we'll go ahead and just use this shape here which is just a circle and some arrows on the outside of it and I'm just selecting it and hitting shift P because originally when it comes in it comes in as a, uh, a grouped object and I don't necessarily want that so we'll just go ahead and delete that null object and we're just gonna rename this the CC um, inner outer stem global and it doesn't necessarily have to be cryptic um, you really the key the key is to name everything um, sort of specific so you know exactly what it is without really trying to um, go ahead and think about it so let's just go ahead and bring this in I want to go ahead and bring my pod in just to make sure that this control is actually going to be um, either below the dirt or right on the dirt so let's just go ahead and push this down okay we'll go ahead and turn that pod off real quick and we will go ahead and freeze the transformation center of the pivot and clear the history on there okay go ahead and color that control here um, you can make this any color that you want but since this is going to be a parented object to the the actual rig um, we can probably just go ahead and use pink or something Okay, so I'll just go ahead and move that off screen here. And now all we really need to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and um, do some of our parenting. So we'll go ahead and select the joint chains here. Let me just go ahead and turn our polygon systems off here. And we just need to select the entire joint chain. So I'm just making sure that I select the beginning joint of that entire joint chain and then we'll just go ahead and shift select the inner outer stem global go ahead and hit P to parent it to that control so now you can see where the control moves but the joint system actually isn't moving and that's because we need to parent everything else that's attached to those groups or um, those joints underneath of that actual control curve so we can probably just do this in the outliner here okay and we need to just take a look and since we've gone ahead and actually renamed everything properly it's gonna be easier for us to go ahead and select all this stuff so we know exactly what's what here 
Okay, so we're going to need the cluster stems. And if we go ahead and actually turn on our cluster main layer, you can see where it's going to be those stem um, clusters that we attach to our stem controls. Okay, so we're going to need to parent that to that control. Okay, so now that's going to move. But you can see where the joint chains still aren't moving. Okay, so we need to go ahead and grab our um, cluster curve stems. And these are the IK handle, um, the spline IK handle curves here. And if I can go ahead and actually turn this on here, it's these little spline IK handle curves that we also want to go ahead and parent to the um, inner outer stem control. So now, you're going to see where this is going to move, but when it moves, you can see where the the joint chains are sort of um, like wiggly. Now, I've thought about <coughs> having this still be attached to what is our pot control here, so that this would actually move like this, but we don't necessarily want it to move like that because it could get a little bit um, hairy in terms of the actual animation. So. That's why I thought it would probably be better if we just do a modular system and then, you know, have the ability to go ahead and pose that because if we were moving this, our main stem might not actually <coughs> work the way that we think it's going to work in terms of, you know, if we attach it to our, attach the IK handle of that main stem to a control curve on our face, it may not actually work the way that we think where it probably will be impinging through the, um, geometry here of the inner and outer stem and so it's just a better solution for us to go ahead and um, make this a modular thing okay so with that all said let's go ahead and grab all of these control curves so we just need the inner stem one the inner stem three the inner stem uh, right inner stem the outer stem controls here okay just making sure that we have all those selected okay we can go ahead and just um, if you want go ahead and group them go ahead and center the pivot on those okay and then we'll just call these the CC inner outer stem um, manip just so you know they're gonna be the manipulators if you go ahead and move those, you can see where those um, stems are going to move. So we just need to take that group, shift select the global there, go ahead and parent that. And so now, if I go ahead and just move this outliner off the screen here, turn back on our polygons. We can go ahead and actually turn off the joints here real quick just so that you can see it the entire system there is pretty much modular and it's going to be moving correctly and in the way that we want it to be so let's just go ahead and place that back okay we'll go ahead and turn off our clusters go ahead and turn back on our pod here and we also need to you know figure out where we want to go ahead and actually parent this to the rig okay so let's just take a look here at our pot since our pot's going to move here we can either parent it to the the actual CC here for the pot, or you can do the geometry. Um, and I just think that it's probably easier to go ahead and actually just add that to, you know, maybe say the actual pot and see if that's going to move with it. And it should. Okay, but it doesn't there. So we can probably just go ahead and put this on the you know maybe the third but that's actually skin so we can probably just go ahead and put it on the um, pot control there so with that set it's gonna go ahead and move um, you can always actually go ahead and put it to the dirt if you want um, but since that works I, I think we're we're okay there so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and continue working through um, rigging our flower.